Hi Rowena, just going to take you through the video I shot the other day and uh, we'll start off at slow-mo. We'll watch one stroke. Now, I just want you to watch good rock over, come forward, squaring a little bit late and we're opening our back up. So I'm going to show you how all of these things happen now. So hands away, well, rocking over, and before the knees break, you've got a good rock over position. That's very good. So that's excellent. We come forward. We don't reach for any more as we come forward. That's very good. We get to the catch. Shins are vertical. That's good. As you can see, though, we're at the catch, and we're not square. So we need to be square a little earlier. Now, we place lifting our hands and shins are still quite vertical but if we were square earlier we could get that place and lock even earlier with the shins more vertical and we want to take advantage of all that length that you've got because you do get a lot of length so that's good don't worry about the wobble in this particular stroke now what happens is good drive through the first half of the stroke but just now here at half slide, watch this line here on your zoot suit because what you're going to see is we start to open the back now. Really opened it up. We haven't got the legs down and we're at vertical. This is the point here where you should still be rocked over here and then as you finish off there, the leg the back is opening up and you're creating that slingshot effect and you're really giving yourself the ability to accelerate that handle right through. So um, we'll finish that stroke off. We'll take another. Now if you watch carefully here you'll see the same thing back opening up just there. Can you see that there? How that back positions just opening up there and there we are almost exactly the same spot and shoulders are behind hips. Now I want to show you the next points. We'll take one more stroke forward and good rock over, good control. Now watch here. We're coming through and we're washing out. And I'm a bit too close to show you here. Let's see if we can show you. There you can see the oar coming out, and if you watch, see we've still got a fair bit of room here. Um, if I show it to you another way, your hands have still got that travel, and both oars are coming out of the water. So we need to make sure that as we rock back, we're drawing the hands up into the chest and keeping those blades covered right until the last possible minute. So let's see if we can see that again. We'll get a better view of it this time, hopefully. Yep, you can see there again that blade out of the water with still that bit of travel on the hands there. Happens every stroke, um, so that's something that we want to work on. Anyway, uh, we'll just watch the last couple of strokes and you can see all those same things. Don't worry about that wobble from left to right. Um, that's just something that will fix itself. Thanks very much. Give me a bail me up if you want to chat about any of these points. Thanks.